Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to see how we can create this beautiful 3D low poly interior wall decor with the help of triangular pyramids made out of paper. So guys, let's get started to see how to make this beautiful wall piece. So the first thing that you are going to need is a template for all those pieces that you saw in the pictures earlier. And in my one of my previous videos, I think it was last to last video where I have covered the uh, blender tutorial on how to create this kind of uh, low poly mosaic 3d uh, model so guys you can click on the link at the top or you can also check out the link in the video description or you can visit my channel to look at the video so i've taken the printout on 220 gsm's paper and i'm going to utilize olfa paper cutting knife to cut out uh, these pieces i'm also going to use metallic pencil to score my uh, all the all the pieces that will form the triangular pyramids now on every piece you will see uh, that there is something written like b1 b2 b4 so 1 2 3 4 denotes the piece number the sequence in which they need to be attached and the word b basically denotes that this is going to be the base or this is what is going to get stuck to the wall or to the base this is going to be the base of the piece uh, and i have explained the reason why i have written that in my tutorial on how to make the template for this so what I have done for all the pieces was that I have put a small puncture mark on all the bases because anyway they are not going to be visible, they are going to be against the wall. It will help me identify after I have folded and you know pasted the edges with the flaps, it will help me identify, it, identify which part was the base. So that helps as an identification mark. What I am doing right now is that for a change I am scoring the pieces previous to cutting normally I cut first and then I score but here I'm scoring the pieces uh, before cutting because the paper is very thick so if the paper is thin then it's okay to score after you cut but if but if the paper is very thick then it's better to score before you cut otherwise otherwise you know those pieces get wrinkled at the edges when you do the scoring so now I'll cut the piece along the solid lines you will see two kind of lines one is solid line and one is dotted line so solid lines are the cutting lines or the lines along which you need to cut your piece and the dotted lines are the ones where you fold so i have done the scoring only on the dotted lines if you noticed earlier i have not done any scoring on the solid lines because anyway i have to cut there so th in this kind of model the only kind of line that i'm going to see is normal dotted line but normally in low poly 3d templates you will see two kinds of dotted line one is dash 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 and the other is dash dot dash dot so the normal dashed lines which you will find in this particular template is uh, is the one where you fold inwards or it is also called the valley fold and the other kind of dotted line is where you fold outwards which is also known as the mountain fold so we only have valley folds here because these are the uh, triangular pyramid pieces so there will be no mountain fold in any piece so what i will do is that i will fold all the pieces so that the flaps are ready for applying the glue and you know pasting to the corresponding edges now all these are individual pieces they are not going to get attached to any other piece all these pieces are complete 3d model in itself and the combination of all these small small triangular pyramids when arranged together will get me that final flamingo shape so i have built the model in such a way that all these pieces are independent of each other and here you see me that i am marking uh, the base as well as the piece number so i'm marking the piece number directly on the base so it will allow me in two ways that where i have to apply the tape at the end uh, if i am sticking it to the wall in this video i have not actually stuck to the wall i have just simply arranged on paper to show you how the arrangement will work and the second it will also help me is the piece number the sequence in which i am supposed to arrange the pieces now to paste all the flaps with the corresponding edges i'm going to utilize this white pva glue so what i will do is that with the help of a toothpick uh, or something you know something thin or something similar i'm going to pick up some glue and then i'm going to apply the glue on the flap and attach the flap to the corresponding edge and this i'm going to do for all the uh, flaps uh, within this small model and the same process i have to repeat for all the pieces in my template once you have completed all the pieces now it's just a matter of assembly 
what you see me doing on screen right now is simply assembling it on top of a paper i have not applied any glue or any double sticky tape at the back but if you are assembling it over a wall then you can apply double sticky tape at the back and uh, uh, you, you can stick it to the wall and arrange it in the corresponding fashion uh, while I was doing this arrangement, I had kept the 3D model in front of me as a reference. You can also keep the output image of the model as a reference for you to be able to assemble correctly. But more or less, it's pretty self-explanatory where all the pieces will go if you have numbered the pieces correctly. So I hope you guys found this video useful on how to prepare a simple 3D low poly interior wall decoration of a flamingo head. In case you guys liked this video then please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper art string arts and all the other different forms of arts and i will see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye